Today, we're fishing a snake lure for pond monsters. The snake's topwater action was incredibly realistic, and these bass just couldn't resist it. Make sure you watch till the end to hear my honest review on this snake lure, but prepare yourself because these topwater blowups are insane. Today, we're fishing a snake lure for pond monsters. We're gonna be hitting a bunch of different places today. This is actually a little roadside pond, or you could almost call it a creek. It's got a bunch of lily pads in it, a bridge, a bunch of shade under the bridge, some shallow water, and some natural water flow from a swamp. So this is the snake that we're gonna be throwing today. Looks pretty crazy. We've done it previously in the past, but we're bringing it back out today to see if we can catch some big ones. Also, I have it paired up on my Kicking Their Bass TV X Lose combo. If you guys want to check one out or cop yourself one, you can go get one at kickingtheirbass.com. Link will be down below. But let's go ahead and start casting around and see if we can get something to bite. I've caught some really big fish in here in the past, and uh, this place is just overall fun to fish. That looks so good, guys. It's just waking right at the top of the water. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button, it really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. I want you guys to look at this snake in the water. Not really a good spot for me to do this at. Hold on, let's see. Flip it out. Look at that snake, guys. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh, just looks real. All right, guys, we're gonna walk here on the other side. See if we can make a few casts. I don't know what to expect out of this place, but I did want to start here. It just looks so juicy. And it's one of those just beautiful, natural looking spots that it just seems like if they were gonna eat a snake lure anywhere, it would be here. All right, here we go. Okay, that is pretty creepy under there. I'm not gonna lie. There's definitely some snakes under that side, like some legit snakes, not no lure snakes. You know, I really like that. One thing I figured out with a snake, if I throw it out there, I kind of reel it in pretty slow and then hit my reel. I just reel it in really slow and then stop. The snake is slithering and right when I stop it, it turns to the side. It's actually pretty cool. That's something if something was chasing the snake and you kind of stop it like that. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Oh, dude, 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 dude. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a gar, guys. That's a gar. It wasn't a bass, not what we were looking for, but it was a stanky gar. Let's try to walk on the other side. All right, guys. Well, we cast around a good bit here. I think we're going to keep moving. I will say I have came out here with a snake before about three or four years ago. Let's roll a few of those clips real quick. He's got it. What the heck? Oh my gosh, there's something big. Something. Oh, I got him on the bridge. That was pretty crazy, but let's go ahead and get off to our next spot. We're going to be hitting a bunch of places today to see if we can catch some of these monsters on the snake. Pond number two, old swamp pond. Look at that boil. Wow, wow, wow. You guys know this place in the past holds some really big bass. You know, it's tannic water in here, way hidden away. It's got a natural creek. Or a natural swamp that flows into here. I've caught two or three seven to eight pounders in here. Super big ones in this place. Been some years since I have, but they're in here. There's some big fish living in this little creek, a little pond. I'm trying to really figure out how to work this thing. And uh, for any of y'all that are watching this, if y'all have thrown the snake before, what is what has been your best luck catching them on this? Is it like a steady retrieve where the bait's just going through the water like that, which just looks amazing? Or are you kind of reeling it and pausing it? So I think that's the big thing today is just figuring out 
how these fish would want it. That was a huge frog right in front of me. But yeah, just figuring out how these fish are gonna want it. Reeling it super slow or killing it, pausing it. You know, we gotta figure out exactly what they're wanting. By the way, I am with Tara. She's throwing another snake. It's not the green one. I ordered like a green one, a black one, and a rattlesnake. She has just the standard black one, which is good today with the clouds being out. I wish the rattlesnake one came in or we'd be throwing that one, but I think this green one's fire too for this place. There we go, right there. There we go, first bite. It's a bass. Not big by any means, but he crushed that thing. Let's freaking go, boys. What's crazy about that is I threw like five casts in that same spot before this fish bit. Reeling it super slow, giving it slight pauses every once in a while. And that is our first bass today on the snake. Let's freaking go, boys. Let's go. I didn't know how long that was going to take to get a bite on it, but it happened. Not a big one, but a very healthy, thick fish. And this fish is fat for the size of them. Here we go. Well, snake lure fat bass this one i don't know if you guys can tell you see how dark this fish is he's been living up in the swamp living up in this grass and that's what makes those bass so dark healthy one just nothing big but that is an awesome way to start off the video thank you baby there she goes heck yeah boys you got a bite that's pretty quick man only threw about 10 15 casts in here already got a bite on the snake i'd say that's pretty good i mean that was like I kept casting, casting, casting in the same spot. If I know anything, guys, where there's one bass, there's possibly another. Just keep on casting out here. I'd be able to get another good bite. Gotta be patient with it. We need to be careful where we're walking out here too. Our gators, like I said, there's a swamp. So I wanna show you guys this. So this is all the natural water. See that right there? See all the frogs jumping? That was a huge tree. I couldn't tell if that was a big gator. But yeah, this is pretty much just a swamp that feeds the natural water into this pond. So this is one of those swampy places already. I would expect them to smoke a snake, you know? Look at that, look at that. Oh my gosh. That is a monster. Oh, it's a freaking mudfish, giant. Oh my gosh, giant mudfish. Look at that, boys. Oh my gosh. The snake is getting smoked right now. That is not necessarily what we wanted to catch, but oh my goodness, look at that thing. I gotta get a picture. Maybe not, maybe not. Oh my gosh, he's freaking out. He destroyed that thing though. Dang, nasty mudfish. Good thing we got our pliers. Maybe I can get a quick picture, let's see. Every time I say picture, don't just calm down, man. I'm just getting a little pick. I'm getting a little pick of you. I'm proud of my catch now. Let's freaking go, man. That's a massive one. This is officially a pond monster right here. <laughs> that is the definition of a pond monster. Let's just try to get this puppy off. If you guys know one thing, that's one thing I don't like to grab, the old mudfish. But we got them off, oh my gosh. Boys, let me tell you, that blow up right there was just insane. Came off, straight up destroyed the snake. This is the type of place we wanna be fishing this thing. Old swamp, they're used to seeing things like this, obviously. We caught both of those fish in the same spot. Let's throw it back in there, man. There might be another one. It just looks so juicy. Now I'm working this thing so slow. You guys saw, I, I don't even think I moved that snake, man. I just let it sit there, kind of barely twitched it, and that freaking mudfish destroyed it. I think we're figuring out a way to fish this thing. We need to be super slow with it, especially in a place like this. I know it wasn't a bass, but that blow up just was amazing. He blew up better than any bass could. That was insane. Let's keep moving, guys funny we had we had some people stopping and, and watching us and just watching what we were doing you got to see that whole thing that was pretty cool hey this there they're a good luck charm there's definitely some swamp monsters in here do you hear the water what i was talking about you hear the water just pouring in so what i was telling her is back there with the swamp overflowing there's a big fish right there with the swamp overflowing, those fish are just sit right there on the edge. But the trick with it is you got to get your bait right on the edge 
of where the water's coming in. If you don't, they're not gonna bite it. You gotta get it there perfectly. Not a bad cast I just made, but not perfect. It's so weird because if you if you throw that bait six inches off the bank, they won't bite it. If you throw it right on the bank, they hammer it. It's so odd. They're very particular on what they want to eat. You know, they want to eat whatever's coming over the bank from that waterfall. Look at these boils, Tara. Oh, oh, oh. He's right behind me. Look. Oh, he's right behind me. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh my goodness, that was insane. Just throw it back in here. He was just nosed up behind it. It's just getting these fish to commit to it. The snake looks so good. I can show you guys a little better here. Look at how that thing, look at how good that looks slithering through the water. And there's one thing in this world I don't like, guys, is snakes. But this thing just looks saucy. Like if I was a fish, I'd be eating it. I ain't gonna lie, that thing looks too dang good. Look at that right there, another boil. Oh, I want a bite. I wish we brought the scissors. I thought about tying it where you tied it on. Look how mine moves. It's similar. Okay. So guys, look at this, what, what Tara was talking about. So this is one unique thing with the snake lure. I haven't really talked in depth about it yet. So I tied mine on right above this bill, which is gonna do more of a waking action throughout the water. But there's another hole to tie it on. And that's actually where Tara tied that snake. I mean, I got these, you can, the cutters aren't perfect on them, but should be able That's to get it. Perfect. All right, guys, let's keep on casting. Let's get another pond monster. I'm just waiting on that seven, eight pound bass. Maybe the snake lure is underrated, guys. Maybe this is a, <laughs> a killer bait that we've just been sleeping on all these years. All right, guys, here we go. Fourth pond. Let's see what we can get after today. This uh, pond right here, we have been getting a lot of good topwater bites. The big thing that we gotta pay attention to, every pond and every place that we go to is gonna fish differently, which that leads me into how should I work this bait? You know, I'm gonna have to figure it out. Earlier today, I was fishing those swampy ponds. I was kind of throwing it up there, barely moving it and then pausing it. Barely moving it and then pausing it. And that's how I was getting those bites. But in here, it might almost be better to continuously reel it. But that's something that we're just gonna have to figure out and keep our heads down and uh, just figure out a strategy to get these bass to bite. So let's go ahead and keep casting around. I think we're gonna end up hooking some really good fish in here. All the ones that I caught in here recently have been around three to four pounds. So that is a bonus. Another pond over here, Tara ended up catching her PB, which is close to seven pounds. So hopefully we can get into some of those big ones on the snake. There's only one way to find out. So let's get casting. Boys, I think my SD card messed up. I'm not sure, but I had one every bit of three to four pounds just come up. I could see his whole body and just kind of kiss it. He didn't commit at all. He was about right here, 10 foot off, five foot off the bank. He was following this thing in. I just don't know if I got it on camera. I guess we'll have to go back to figure out, but that was our first bite in here. It was a nice fish. He just didn't commit. So we're just gonna have to bury our retrieves and see what we can do. It looks like it's starting to rain now. Um, hopefully it doesn't start pouring. Hopefully it's just a, a light rain. This rain might make these fish fire off, guys. That's how it was the other day. It started raining and it just turned these fish on. Let's hope that's the case and let's hope that it don't rain much more than it's doing now and we'll be able to stick out here and film all this. Here we go, guys. Out of a different pond. Look at that boil. Oh, right next to this grass in this pocket. Looks so good. Man, we should get destroyed. Look at that watermelon. <laughs> you see that watermelon? Yeah. Matches my snake pattern perfectly. <laughs> Got one. There we go. There we go. Oh, I'm on board now. Yay. Oh, there you go. Get them up here. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That's my first time using a snake. First snake bass ever. First snake bass ever. Look at that. Be careful. Look at that. Heck yeah, girl. That color is actually really good, Tara, right now because the clouds are out. And usually those darker colors would be good. There you go. Good job. Not a big one, but heck yeah, girl. Your first snake bass ever. <laughs> that was pretty cool, that wasn't it? Cool. Were you just uh, continuously reeling it? Really? On that one, yeah. Heck yeah, good job. Cool. There we go, girl. We're getting somewhere. Let's go. Heck yeah. 
All right, guys. Well, that was, was that your first cast in this pond? This pond is your lucky charm. Last time Tara was here, she caught her PB and then she comes out here first cast on the snake, <laughs> catches a fish. That's awesome. Hopefully this rain is just gonna fire them all. Had some good luck last week in the rain. Maybe we can continue that good luck to now. Yeah, he's on there. He's swimming with me. Oh, he feels pretty. He feels pretty good. Oh, I can feel. He's swimming with me. Is he big, big? Oh, oh, did he come off? Fun. No, no. That bulb was crazy, though. I think this web is getting right for the top water, boys. I think it's getting right. This rain just stays like this. It don't do nothing crazy. We'll be fishing in this. There we go. There we go, boys. There we go. My first snake bass in this pond. Heck yeah, he's tiny too. Look at that, super skinny too. That is just insane. Okay, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Look at that, boys. <laughs> a little tiny one on the snake. We're catching them, man. This is awesome. We're putting up the numbers now. If Tara would have landed that last one, we would have a good couple fish. And if I would have got that one bass that just ate me at the bank, that thing, I'm telling you, boys, that one was a big one too. I could literally see him. Like, it was clear as day. And it was so slow motion how he came up to eat it too. It was like he wasn't really committed to it kind of dove up on it but that's a beautiful fish my first one in this pond hopefully we can keep it going hook a giant here in a moment there he goes heck yeah that fish was really skinny it's crazy because that one big one that she caught in here her pb was just so big and fat and then you have bass like that that are just tiny so now let's kind of look back on what we're doing kind of understand how we can maximize our bites that was just a steady retrieve I'm not working it too fast. Just kind of steady retrieving it like that. Maybe every once in a while pausing it could be a good thing and then starting it back up. I think that's what Tara did to get that bite too. So we just need to keep playing with our retrieves. It's so hard to take what we learned from the last place and apply it here and vice versa. Like when we go to another pond after this, it's gonna be hard for us to take what we learned from this one to that one because the, the fish could be acting different. They might not want top water or they might want it worked a different way. That's just how it is fishing different bodies of water. But fish seem to be biting pretty good. This rain just started and I'm pumped for it. I think we're gonna have a good bit of bites in here. Oh, he's off. Oh. No, that blow up sounded crazy, Tara. Rain's starting to come down more. The bites are getting more aggressive. There we go. Oh, not a bad one. Let's go, boys, right in that corner. In the rain, how can it get better than that? Oh, man, that's a little pounder. He looked like he was about two pounds, but he ain't that big. Just a pounder, skinny pounder, if that. That's another snake bass. We can't complain with that, can we? We're just having fun out here, enjoying life, fishing for whatever bites on the snake. And uh, <laughs> it's freaking happening, guys. To get up to the big ones, we gotta weave through the small ones. Thank you, baby. Give us another cast up in there. That corner just looks so promising. For how small that fish was, man, he put up a ruckus hitting that thing. I can only imagine how a big one's gonna smoke it. So boys, last time we made it this far in this pond, I had a big one eat me in this corner. Looks so good in this rain. Oh, big boil, big boil, come on, come on. He literally just came up and barely hit it. I felt him just pick up the tail. He just didn't commit to it. It's the biggest thing is getting these fish to commit right now. They're either destroying it or they're just barely coming up and just playing with it. Oh, another bite, man, another bite. 
came up and barely kissed it two times right down this lane. Maybe the lucky watermelon. I don't know why in the world there's a watermelon in here. We're gonna take a little break. This rain's starting to get a little heavier now. So we're gonna take a little break and we'll get back with you. All right, boys, we're coming back out after the rain. Went and took a little lunch break. We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna be fishing this little pond right here. If you guys look closely, you can see where it's actually flooded. That's grass all underneath there. But yeah, we're gonna see if we can catch a few in here and then there'll be a couple other spots that we can hit. And then uh, I'm thinking about going back to the swamp, guys, just because we were getting a bunch of different bites in there and definitely some big fish bites. So might have to take it back over to that place. Oh, oh my gosh, I didn't even move it. I, I just, I totally spazzed out. That was probably one of the best bites all day. That was such a good bite. I didn't hook him or anything, just totally popped off at it. And I got just too excited, hooks up too early. Don't you want a little snake, a little slippery little snakeity snakeity? All right, guys, well, uh, this was just not it. Let's keep on moving. Didn't have any bites. Or actually, I had that bite when I first cast it in, but that's about it. So let's keep on moving. So boys, while walking back from this pond, look what I saw. And look at this professional, man. Look at this photography. Oh my gosh, hire me now. Look at that, boys. You took it, you did not take that. That was a straight lie. Pretty cool. There's so many deer in the woods here, it's insane. Had the next pond, boys. Had the next pond, boys. Let's smoke us a donkey bash. Please bite. Y'all were treating me so nicely at the beginning, even in the middle. And now the end is just difficult. Oh my gosh, look at that boy and he's swimming off right here. Oh my no. What just happened? I, I got excited. <laughs> he hit you that quick, first cast? Yeah. Ah, oh, I got excited. Bummer. <laughs> Maybe they're gonna go crazy on the snake in here. That's a good sign. If there's anything that's a good sign, that's a good sign. Well, boys, maybe uh, we're gonna get it done. We definitely gonna get it done. We gotta get it done. There ain't no choices, okay? There's no other option other than get the job done. So that is what we're gonna do. <gasps> Dude why 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 do you why do you what are you doing my bait was you know how like the front of the bait digs down it wasn't digging down comes to find out there was just a two and a half pound bass below it so it couldn't dig down because it was probably on his back he was just literally right under this thing never in my life i'm convinced guys half these fish are just scared of snakes i mean i i do not like snakes Maybe the fish just don't like snakes. You know, some of them destroy it. Like you got that nasty mud fish. He was like, I really want this snake. And then you got a lot of these bass that are just like, I don't know about the snake. Like you just have that one swimming right under it. You know, he just might not like snakes, man. All right, come on snake bass, bro. Come on snake bass. The biggins have been biting in here. Just gotta eat a snake, come on. I'm dying for another bite, like a legit bite. They are just not one to eat, you can tell. So ready to see a good one. Huh? Oh my gosh! That was crazy, not a big one, but he just followed me back in. So guys, I kind of cheated. <laughs> I couldn't take it anymore, man. I really couldn't take it anymore. I had to throw a dang chatter on. Yeah, I, I literally was about to lose my mind. I'm not done throwing it, but I just, I, I couldn't, dude. I needed to calm down for a minute. I threw thousands of casts of that dang snake and I uh, didn't have a fish and I was about to just lose my mind. So that's refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> that's refreshing that fish would barely almost eat it dude he, he ate me last second at the bank 
I don't know what it is, but they're definitely not biting like they, they were previously. It's a total different type of fishing than it was a couple hours ago. All right, guys, final destination. And then I want to give you guys my honest opinion on the snake lure. You guys definitely want to stay tuned for that. I will give you guys what I think, what I really think about the snake. And I got a nice one. Oh, that's the nicest bass all day. Right away, holy cow. Messed up my GoPro, boy, hold on. Oh my gosh. Come up here, boy. Yeah. Little fat dude. It's up in that grass, eat that chatter donk, man. Feels refreshing to just catch a bass on some other than the snake. Look how healthy that fish is. Straight up brute. First cast, why didn't we come here all day? <laughs> and why didn't I throw the snake in here? We probably could have got smoked. So we're gonna talk about old Mr. Snakey Wakey here. That's a pretty good name because it's like a wake bait, Snakey Wakey, I kind of like that. Anyways, let's go ahead and hop into this. Did I have fun fishing today? Well, I always have fun fishing. So, so yes, I did, I did have a blast fishing today. Did I like fishing with the snake when I was casting it and actually having bites? It was a lot of fun. When that rain came though, and I wasn't having any bites, it was tough, man. It was really testing my patience and I am very patient. So, you know, it is a love-hate relationship. Would I throw this snake again? For fun, probably not. Like for just a day of fishing, probably not. For another video, possibly. So if you guys want to see another video with the snake, let me know down below. And if you do, let me know what type of video. Like, do you want me to take this on the river? Would you like me to take this thing to Fletcher's? Where would you like to see the snake lure? Because we could definitely do it somewhere else. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk a little bit about it. If I had to rate this snake as far as like catchability, I'd say probably five out of 10. It's definitely possible to catch fish on it. Is it easy to get bites on it? Probably not. Probably because half the fish are scared of snakes, so they do not want to even bite it. But is it fun when you get a bite on on this heck yes 10 out of 10 on that that was a that was a blast catching especially that mudfish that was probably the most fun i had all day which is crazy because i don't like catching mudfish but for this video it was fun but yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this one if you did hit the like button and i'll catch you all in the next video